I am Dr. Mudit Khanna, Consultant Orthopedic Joint Replacement Surgeon at the South Mumbai Unit of Vokard Hospitals. Today, we will be talking about the various components of a hip replacement surgery. Now, I am assuming that if you are suffering from osteoarthritis of the hip and you have been advised a hip replacement surgery, you might be confused as to the various options that are provided with regards to the available implants. So let us now understand the various components that make up for a hip replacement surgery implant. So to begin with, we have the first component known as the femoral component. This is the stem of the femoral prosthesis that goes into the thigh bone or the femur. On top of this component is a ball. Coming to the socket side, there is an artificial metal socket that goes into the acetabulum or the socket and a thin liner that goes into the metal socket. Essentially, therefore, we have four main components, the femoral component, uh, the ball, the liner and the socket. Together, these four components make up for the entire hip replacement implant. Now, coming to the more difficult part, which is important for you to understand, there are two important considerations when you decide to go for a hip replacement surgery. The first important consideration is how these components are fixed to the bone. There are two ways of fixing this implant to the bone. The first is a cemented fixation, wherein this prosthesis goes into the femur and the femur is already prepared with a lot of cement inside it. And this prosthesis is sunk into the bone as the cement sets the prosthesis becomes fixed to the bone. A similar thing happens on the socket side. The other method of fixation is an uncemented fixation. Now what happens in an uncemented fixation is that the bone bed is prepared and a tight fitting femoral component is hammered into place such that it sits snugly in the bone. Now over a period of time, it has been observed that with a cemented component, the cement may get loose and therefore the implant may get loose. While with an uncemented fixation, it has been observed that bone grows into the surface of the implant, making the implant more stable as time goes by. Essentially, therefore, for relatively young patients, we prefer an uncemented fixation over a cemented fixation. So the first variable that we have discussed in terms of your choice when you decide for a hip replacement surgery is to decide between whether you would rather have an uncemented implant or you would rather have a cemented implant. For young patients, an uncemented implant is relatively better than a cemented implant. Now the second important variable when we talk about a hip replacement surgery is the bearing which essentially means what rubs on what. So we have a ball that rubs in the socket. Now this ball can be made out of metal and this ball can be made out of ceramic. Also similarly the liner can be made out of ceramic or it could be made out of poly. So you could have a metal ball rubbing on poly or you could have a ceramic ball rubbing on poly and a third possibility is that you could have a ceramic ball rubbing on ceramic. So if you look at components, theoretically and commonly when you speak to your surgeon, they will be referring it to as a metal on poly bearing, which means a metal ball rubbing on poly or a ceramic on poly, which means a ceramic ball rubbing on poly or a ceramic on ceramic bearing surface, which means ceramic rubbing on ceramic. Now it becomes difficult for a lay person to decide which of these is relatively better. However, when we talk about young patients, ceramic has very good wear properties, which means if you keep rubbing ceramic for a long period of time, ceramic does not wear out. So for relatively younger patients, a ceramic ball is a good option. It is likely to give that implant a longer life. So 
most common bearing surface used as of today is a ceramic on poly bearing surface. So putting all this information into perspective, what should be the choice of implant? Well, for relatively younger patients, the choice of implant should be an uncemented fixation on both the femoral side and the socket side. And the bearing surface should preferably be ceramic, either ceramic on poly or ceramic on ceramic. And most common used bearing surface is ceramic on poly. If you wish to know more about the right bearing surface and the right method of fixation, please feel free to come and visit us for a detailed discussion.